verse 12 now. Sow righteousness for yourselves, but last week we talked about sowing and reaping. This week we're talking more about it. Reap the fruit of unfailing love. Would you guys like to have unfailing love? The kind of love God has? That love that loves no matter what? And break up your unplowed ground. There it is again. For it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and showers his righteousness on you. Father, we just ask you right now to plow up the ground inside our hearts. You know what's going on inside each one of us today. And Lord, take your plow to us and make us into the women you want us to be. File off those rough edges, Lord. Dig up that crusty ground. Turn our hearts of stone into hearts of flesh. Again, it's the law of sowing and reaping, ladies, and we went uh, into that in depth last week. You sow apple seeds, what's gonna grow? You're gonna have apples. You sow sin, what's gonna come out of that? You're gonna reap the consequences of sin, and it won't be fun. So let's just constantly be aware of that unplowed ground and ask the Lord to break it up. So I am going to ask you guys to, and I'm not going to have you talk about it, but really consider it right now. What crop will grow up from the seeds you planted today? Think about who you talk to. Think about the things you said. Think about the things you did. I've already been through this process. It's a good thing to start every day with. Lord, help me to be mindful of the law of sowing and reaping. Israel had sown the seed of sin. Now they will reap judgment. Judgment from God. And God doesn't want to do this. He's pleading with them. Please repent. Even now, he's saying, if you would sow righteousness, even now, no matter what, you ju what you've done in the past, God's saying, You'll reap mercy from me. Just start right now. Ground that is hard and stubborn and re uh, rebellious is resistant to the seed. The blade of the plow would hurt if the ground could talk. When that blade cuts through, ouch. We break up the foul and hard ground by seeking the Lord, ladies. That's how we're going to break it up. That's how he's going to break it up. By seeking him. Not seeking ourselves. And I'm going to say it. Not seeking our idols. Not seeking anything else other than the Lord God Almighty to stir up that hardened, crusty ground that has the tendency to form in each one of us. Psalm 139, 24, if you want to write that down. That's the one I was talking about earlier where David prayed, Lord, show me if there's any offensive way to me. I don't want to offend you. Notice back there uh, in verse 12 where it says, it is time... <coughs> When I read that, it made me think of 2 Corinthians 6, 2, where it says, uh, today is the day of salvation. Now is the time. Today is the day to repent. Today is the day to ask God to take his blade after our crusty old, dried up, hard ground hearts. Today is the day. Why wait? Today is the day of salvation. God puts people in our path every single day. Can we not speak a word of just praise? We don't have to get our Bibles out and beat them over the head. But today is the day of salvation. If we could plant a little seed that would get them thinking about Jesus Christ, what a beautiful thing that would be for each one of us. It is time. Now, the season is passing. 
If you do not get seed in the ground now, your fields will be unfruitful. Is good seed being planted in the soil of your heart? What are we putting in our own hearts? Are we watching soap operas all day? Are we reading material? Are we planting seeds of information that just isn't that good? Sometimes I watch the news, Warren and I, before we go to bed. Sometimes I think I should do that. <laughs> Shows us how to pray, doesn't it? But uh, what do we put, what, what, li what music do we listen to? What is it that we're planting inside our hearts? What kind of people are we spending time with? Verse 13, but you have planted wickedness, and you have reaped evil. You have eaten the fruit of deception, because you have depended on your own strength and on your many warriors. Ruin always comes, ladies, when we trust in our own way instead of trusting in God's way. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all, you can say it with me. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths.